Okay. Oh, everybody and welcome back to Witchy Life Story. We are back on day 7. Let's hop right into it. Bring some more potions, figuring out some more about the town's people. Doing good things. Getting some snacks, giving some snacks to this guy. And yeah. Huh. You've got something for me today? I wanna see it. Yes, I remember agreement. One closer come up. Call. Now let's see it. Come <gasps> come. I don't wanna know where this came from. I guess I'll keep this for something later. It'd be a waste not to. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. That was any roof. Don't worry, this time. Don't worry, this time it's nothing. A positive attitude can't fix it. But I couldn't get a help with a positive attitude. What would make me happy then? Some incense. Oh, what? Yo, Sunny Wolf. I need something special for a potential special someone. Like, for me. I'm trying to go all out, all right? A charm for some charm? Hey, uh, Sunny Wolf. Sorry for being vague, but if they read this, they might try something. I'm through with them with them. I just want some peace and quiet. You need to get them away from me. That entrance. Also, it's a secret. XXX, yeah, sure. Protection. Pluto. Pluto. Alright, oh, time to go to the garden. Garden, garden, garden. Or some scissoring. And here. Yeah. I totally meant it. I have six. Do we need any of those? Maybe. I don't know. Use those. Can I have a shift I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Reminds me. Uh oh. This incense charm incense. I feel like the incense was this. Mary needs another incense to stay positive. Alright. So we need some lavender. Then we need the Venus, a Hollyhock, and something yellow like. And we're just gonna pull it. And we've got the Optimism Incense. Let's keep crafting. Go for another incense. Nation it's incense to get rid of something. Oh why? Plants. For the protection we need some rosemary. And we need Pluto and plus the pea flower and allium. Pleasing incense. 
The charm. So that should be the charm, right? Yes. For oil. So that's a charm. Okay. I was definitely charmed by the other one more. Donuts need to charm. For some charm. So we need a rose. Uh, some calendula. I actually don't have a lot of those. I'm surprised. And Pluto Allium. Ah, that was easy. Right now to carry out the deliveries. New love jam. This day and then there's the full moon. Yay. Go to the village. Time to go shopping. Need one of you and two of you. Oh, why then? Let's talk, I guess, with you. Time for snacks with Sean. Look up to Sean's house. Smell something cooking. But this doesn't smell like anything you've smelled before. You knock on the door and Sean's off the job. Perfect timing. Come to the kitchen. Yes! You follow Sean to the kitchen and smell cheesy. But of your goodness. Would you like a grilled cheese sandwich? Grilled cheese sandwich? What's that? You've never had. Sean slams a plate in front of you. Only this is a sandwich of melted cheese. It looks greasy. Eat it. Oh, okay. You take a bite. What? How is this? It's melted cheese with crusty and buttery bread shot to perfection. Before you know it, it's all gone. Delicious. White. Delicious and understatement. Are you a kitchen witch? Have you really never had grilled cheese before? Food doesn't have some sort of magical intention behind it. There's no point in eating it. At least that's what my family says. Oh, I suppose McGuan was a bit more relaxed in that concept. To learn how to make it. You teach me such an advanced technique? It's not advanced. Anyone can make it. I doubt that. Let me show you. You walk over to the stuff. All Sean does is slice some bread, butter it, and put some cheese on it. But that's it? That's it. Of course. All the ingredients of the highest quality. I baked the bread this morning. And trying to butter yourself? No. Purchase in from a farm in another village. And the cheese. The few the ingredients, the better quality they should be. Forced. Most combinations of bread, butter and cheese are wonderful. Are you making grilled cheese for the festival? No. We'll work on the matter lines. Well? Huh? Should definitely make grilled cheese if they don't work out. They are going to work out. Oh, um, of course they are, I was just saying. Just needed a break today, make something simple. This doesn't need to be a work of art to be delicious. Can be the same with magic, you know? Simple spell is better than a more complex one depending on the situation. And every spell needs to be a ritual, McGran used to say. And did you listen? Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe do well? I did nothing, but... Hmm. I don't think either of us is very good at listening. You have your own restaurant. Do you even have to listen to people? To customers and critics. Critics? No, for a second again. People who wait your restaurant. Oh, you get a lot of those? Maybe once in a while. Sounds stressful. It is. You can either make you feel like a world-class chef, or the complete opposite. If they're like anything like my family, it's usually the complete opposite, so I get it. Will there be critics at the festival? Hmm. You take Sean's answer, yes. I see. <laughs> Bet there isn't a critic who wouldn't love your grilled cheese. I'd criticize the critic for having no taste if that were the case. 
you could curse them. You'd let me do that? Hmm. Of course, I'd rather get you a positive review. Then you know where to find me if the day comes. I should probably get all this cleaned up and return to studying. Sounds good. Thanks again for the grilled cheese. Must be hard to be creative with all the pressure. Hmm. The sun? The sun represents creativity and ambition. Yeah, that's perfect for sure. Let's take note of that in my grimoire. Wait, you wanted something. I've got to check on two of those. Fuck the wolf. Eesh. I'm a little nervous about seeing Hoof. That communication spell kind of went a little haywire. But it did seem to do the trick, so maybe everything's okay. You know, I can Hoof's office door. Yes. That was the wrong voice. Absolutely. He went to the office. Hello. Hello, Zenimorph. I'm glad you're here. Something wrong? That spell from the other day. Oh no. It made me act so strangely. And just when the almond slap, in the middle of a critical conversation, I just laughed. I felt so completely drained that I just wanted to give up. That's so unlike me. Thank goodness Mal and Shona still figured out the remaining budget. I feel awful leaving them like that. I'm the mayor. This behavior is unacceptable. Danny Wolf, is it possible to be allergic to magic? Hmm. Uh, I, I don't think so. Maybe everyone is right. Perhaps I am falling apart. Maybe I shouldn't have put in the secret ingredient. Ah, oh, come on, uh, Wolf. Put yourself together. I still got the work done, right? Maybe reaction was just what Mel and was needed to figure it out. Hmm. Maybe you're right to a certain extent. I still feel like I failed them somehow. I feel like everyone is avoiding me now. I tried to see what I could help with, but everyone's saying they got it. Mel even cleared my schedule for me. Also, Mel did not look well. I don't want her taking on any more work. You should look in the mirror, Wolf. That sounds like a good thing to... And then, yeah, she cooked dinner last night and breakfast this morning. Like everyone is treating me like a child. Getting old sucks. Oof. Language. It sucks. You know what's really awful? I can't stop dreaming about going somewhere completely different with all this going on. I'm not the lady they all watch go old and inept. I go on a great adventure by myself, and when people see me travel alone, they think, Wow, you must be a competent person to be traveling all alone. They find me so interesting and ask me all the places I've been. And they tell me I should write a memoir, so I do. Wow. Wow, wait. We have a festival to put on, remember? Well, yeah, but then after? If it goes well, there will be more to do. I mean, could someone else be mayor? I I suppose that's true. Oh no, don't trigger a robo wolf. Not, not, not that he shouldn't be mayor, just if you want to do other things. All of what I just said is just a fantasy. I'm sure once the festival is over, I want to stay put right here. Or maybe, with this day off, I'll indulge and read some travel guides at the library. I could check out one and read it at Sean's cafe while drinking a nice coffee. I always wanted to do that. I think that sounds great. Look at going so you can enjoy your day. Thanks for stopping by, Sunny Wolf. I owe you for listening to all my old lady rambles. Oi. I wonder if it would benefit Ruth to actually get out of floor for a bit. It sounds like she really needs something new in her life. Huh. Mercury? It does seem like Ruth is struggling to communicate what she wants. She even knows that herself. Maybe something I would to Mercury could help her. Should write that down in my grimoire. Okay, so 
this this has been done so I guess Niash is next she was not next wasn't she Devin was next Oh, I don't know. I, I give up. You walk into the studio and see Niasha cowering in the corner. Niasha, are you okay? Thank God you're here. He's telling me you have this plan I requested. Sure. Nope. Devon. Sorry. Uh, kind of don't want to go in there. I won't blame Devon if they still want to be alone. Knock on the door. Come in. Into the music studio. That one still looks pretty down. Oh. Sunny Wolf. Uh. Hey, friend. Look at some company. Want to sit? You and Devin take a seat on the couch. You both just sit there in silence for a bit. Devin put the hat on his shoulder. Um. Sorry about yesterday. Jeez. I feel like I keep asking you for spells, and messing them up. Uh, I wouldn't blame yourself. Floppy handwriting didn't help, and neither did you have knowledge of wounds. Why can I ever seem to know what to do? I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to compose music for people. Uh, you make good tea. Oh my gosh, tea. Don't jump off the couch. Should I make some? So impolite of me not to ask. Uh, that's not what I meant at all. I meant you make good tea or something and know how to do well. Oh. I see. I want to back down. I know. How about... That's... No. No. Get out of his stuffy studio. Yeah. I think I'd like that. And Devin head to the woods. Wow, look at all these weird legions. I wonder what the magical properties are. Look at these mushrooms. Do you know what they are? No, I don't think those grow in the woods near my grand's college. Oh, that mossy log looks comfy. Want to take a seat? Sure. You and Devin take a seat. Getting out was a good suggestion. I'm feeling better already. Can I ask you something... again? Of course! How do you know what spells to make people? Oh wow, um... My experiment. But you usually get them right, which means you do something with intent. Hmm. It's a skill passed down to one teasels and fine-tuned without training. We take in people's feelings and sense what plants, crystals, minerals, and the sea can help them. The more experienced the Fontiesel which is, the more precise they can be. It includes experience with people's feelings, but also the natural world. The more you can dig into someone's feelings, the more knowledge of Mother Nature's materials. The more you have to work with. I see. I guess you can't use that skill to figure out what kind of music I should write. Unfortunately not. But let me ask you a question, though. If you could compose any kind of music, what would it be? Honestly, I don't know. There's so many different instruments and sounds out there. I guess, sort of similar to you. The more types of music I can study, the more kinds I can write. That's why I like composing music for people. Everyone wants something a little different. And it's fun figuring out what people want, usually. So, usually composing music isn't this difficult for you? I mean, it's always some challenge, but this feels like something a little more too. Music has the power to bring people together, and I want this music to bring flora together. But I haven't figured out how to incorporate flora yet. Maybe some local musicians could help. Have you asked Mel and Ruth about it? I'm too nervous. I feel like they've already given me enough, and there's not much time left. But I do want people to enjoy what I've composed this time, more than usual. So you're writing for your best friend's festival? And you'll be listening too. Uh. Uh. Do you not want to hear? 
Of course I do. I, I just don't want you to stress out about me at all. I want you to compose whatever makes you happy. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thanks, Sunny Wolf. Yeah, she isn't the type who could ask you to compose music if she didn't think you could do it. But that's true. From what I can tell, she loves this village. Since I saw, she wanted to ask someone she could trust. At least, that's what I would do. I might have ruined that trust after yesterday, but beating myself up about it won't help anyone. Might as well head back to the studio and try again. I'm sure he'll figure it out. I guess. We'll see. Thanks for walking with me, Fo. I know I'm pretty down, but it did help cheer me up. I'm glad. Good luck with the composing. Son, yeah. Creativity and optimism is just what Devin needs. Let me write that down in my grimoire. Oh, and now you're gonna have it in the Asha. Uh, nope. What? Plans and. <clears throat> Incense. Wait. Can you light them? Sure. Where do you keep the matches? Matches? Don't you have any? None of me, no. Then how am I supposed to? <sighs> it's that sound again. There's something else in here, isn't there? Okay. Fine. Yeah, there it is. Happy now? What are they? Who cares? Look at my precious paints. They've been drinking them straight from the bottle. I can't make out if they keep eating my supplies. So much for smoking them out, and someone doesn't carry matches on them. Yeah, I get it. Bitches love pouring stuff, but that doesn't mean we walk around carrying matches. Anyway, sounds like these critters are something more than your regular lousy energy. Basic lensing instance is strong enough for them. What can we do then? Hmm. Wait, such is not a situation that great in meddling with the squirts is pretty advanced stuff. Maybe talking with them will help. It'd be that hard. It makes it look easy. How bad could it go? Well, might as well try talking to them. Might as well. Just let me get a pot of tea with some biscuits then. That's all we'll do. Have you got any? Yeah. You're serious about talking to them? I don't have any better ideas. Do you? Fine. I'll grab some salt. I use it for watercolor sometimes. You guys should go off and get the salt. Here you go. Now, I need to know one thing before we start. You know what these creatures are called. Eh. The last witch called them. Pipply nipplies. Pipply what? Pipply nipplies. Never heard of those, but okay, now I need to... Hold on. You're not just, like, pulling my leg, are you? What do you mean? Y you actually believe me? O of course. Yeah, but these are well, wouldn't I? Oh. N no one has ever outright believed me before. It was tough when I was a kid. You've seen the fibbly nibbly since you were a kid? Y yeah, and they used to get me into all sorts of trouble at school. Because of them, I couldn't concentrate as much as the other kids. Then I would yell at them, and obviously no one else could see them, so... Well, maybe this time we'll get it sorted once and for all, okay? F thanks. Now I need to cast a circle, and once it's cast, neither of us can leave it until I take it down. Yeah, sure. You put some salt into your hand, you know there's bits of dirt in it. Hopefully the salt is good enough. Earth, element of trees, rocks and flowers. I call on you to guide and guard us in this circle. Here, 
element of thoughts and communication I call on you to guide and guide us in the circle. Fire, element of passion and creativity. I call on you to guide and guide us in the circle. Water, element of the ebb and flow of life. I call on you to guide and guide us in the circle. Alright, we should be good now to start talking. Go ahead and ask and ask your first question. Why why, why are you here? Take a deep breath, empty your mind, and await an answer from the Fibli Nibblies. Do, do you hear anything? Give me a second. Take a few moments, but don't hear anything. Nia should be lying. No. The story about the childhood sounded too sincere. And you could definitely sense at least something's energy in here. You listen for a few moments when... I think I hear something. Really? What are they saying? I'm not sure. They are speaking a language I feel like I almost understand, but don't. Uh. They're doing that again? They talk like that when they are extra annoyed. You, you can understand them? If you can tell Hawk to them, then why am I doing this? I, I can talk to them when they are like this. That's why I need your help. You get the feelings there's more going on here than Yash is telling you. Let me see what I can figure out then. Any information, even slightly wrong, is good information, right? You think you hear them saying... They like to watch you struggle. Great. Then I just like everyone else. Waiting for me to make one tiny mistake so you can go, look, she's failed. As if there's no painting that I have failed. At least there's also enough for them to critique for. Ugh. Doesn't matter what they want. What will make them go away? Hmm. I feel like it was better understand what they're saying. Let the leave and they want. And they want. One of them I want. This is my studio space. Unfortunately, property laws don't apply to the Fae. You're not getting much out of this, uh, conversation. In sense of fibbly nibbly presents, but you still can't completely understand them. Maybe you need to take another approach with Nyasha and her little spirit friends. Sunny Wolf, what am I supposed to do? Um, you don't know. Some friends? Maybe? Do you know how hard I've had to work to get people to take me seriously again? I had to get into a top art school and then I had to be at the top of the top art school. So no, I won't be friends with these critters again. Again? You know what? I think I'm just done here for today. I'm going to go home and work there. I've got too much to be dealing with this. Yeah, I should turn to walk out of the circle. Nyasha, wait, the circle. Need to take it. Before you can stop her, Nyasha steps out of the circle. You both hear the sobbing of the Fibli Nipplis. Danny Morf. Suddenly, a tornado of art supplies starts flinging paint across the wall. Thunder clouds of glitter explode. Rains charcoal and pastels. One! They both managed to escape the art studio in one piece, so you're a bit of a mess. Let's wait for things to settle down. We'll come back later to clean up the mess. Eh, it doesn't matter. All my art supplies are ruined now. Not getting the mural done for the festival. Here she runs off towards home. Think about chasing after her for a second, but maybe she needs some time alone. Maybe trying to talk to Fibli Nipples wasn't such a good idea after all. Talk to Mel. Damn, she is sick. You are sick. You are sick. We enter Mel's office to find her sitting at the desk. Eh. You don't sound too good. In in common politics, it said if you smile, you instantly improve your mood. I don't think this is a mood thing. 
maybe Sean was right about the whole needing rest thing. But then so many requests, demands, and favors. My schedule was already for the boot. That's a right, as we have met. Got the two. Current pilot says he's just part of exploring the quantum cycle. Interference between intercontinence and insight. Uh. The future will be a parallel unfolding of synchronicity. Ooh, head rush. If this parallel requested. Yeah, sure. What was it even? Optimism in sense. You sure you don't want cold medicine? Oh, it's just less. I never create a positive outlook on this quickly deteriorating situation before my eyes and poof. Glass gone, work gone. Oof, I feel a little. Uh oh, here we go again. Two. You may be ruled by Satnation without realizing it. Well, I really don't think you're okay. And by not okay, you mean delirious. In park and the vision grass will become one with it. This is even worse than the other day. We found him with infinite is calling to you via ultrasonic energy. What to do, what to do. The light is incense. Mara tries to lie the match after match after match, but she just keeps dropping them. Why don't you let me do that? Take the matches, light the incense. Mara sticks her face right into the smoke and inhales. Ah, optimism. I need to figure out how to get her out of this sickness induced grace. You can just leave her here. Yeah. Walk away, then there's nothing. You can do that. Ah, it's incantation time again, isn't it? So, of course, this mess, but if Mel can get through this, then maybe the West will work itself out. Alright, Mel, I need you to focus. We're going to try incantations again to get you through all of this again. Yes, teach me a witchy ways. Repeat after me, just like you did last time. Burn them all, light them what? A chaos rain for this undeserving blood. Mustang, take a stand against this function. All visitors of the multiverse, inspire this lightning bolt of joy. Yes. We need to stop the destruction of- Wait, no. Destruction is great. No. You're supposed to repeat the incantation. Achoo. I love magic. Should have known you weren't listening. The saints and the ring clean up my- Achoo. Well, look at me. We're trying to do magic. You like magic, right? Magic makes all the problems go away. Yes. To do magic. I need you to repeat what I say. To do magic, I need to repeat to do what I say. Yes, just like that, but not that. Repeat the incantation with full intention. Repeat the incantation with full intentions. Okay, stop. Just look at me and repeat the following words. Burn them all, let them rot, make chaos vain, present is serving. You can what? Look towards where the mountains with the moon. There you will find that which makes things bolder. So close. I should navigate this comic stratosphere. Life from look within and recreate yourself. I don't think I can do this, man. To embark on a journey so we become one with it. Hey, science tells us that the essence of nature is peace. What do I do? Just leave. Maybe I can get still away while. What the? Mel, you so supposed to be. <sighs> What's going on here? Uh. Maybe if I grind up this incense and snort them, they'll be more effective. Mel? No. Those incense are lit. Achoo! The optimism it burns. No. Don't no look at you. Are you just going to leave her here? What? Leave? No, I was uh, coming to find you. Look, I don't know. Well, I've been spotting nonsense and the try to help, but I didn't know what to do. Telegram. 
Schauen, ob Fritz ist halt mal was halt. Oh, it's my shiny poo. Come on, Mao. I'm the head home. The soup. Mhm. Yay. A chip. Go show him Mao, walk out the door. Sean stops and looks at you. By the way, it's not a crime not to know what to do. Sean carries Mao through the door and towards home. Ugh. At least I tried. You arrive at Jonas' home. It's my the stench of way too much cologne emanating from the door. I don't think this is strong enough laughs but to overcome this amount of cologne. Jonas, are you live in there? Jonas then feeds to the door. Yes, it's smell time. More like smell time. All that cologne really necessary? Do you have my smell or not? Just saying. Here you go. Sweet deal. Alright, gotta go. Uh, 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 no, so, not so fast. First, you gotta tell me something. Who's it for? Hot people, obviously. I need more, more specific. Come on, you can tell me. Yeah, well, maybe it's you. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, well, you need more than a spell for that. Wait, four of us. I'm so flat. We are also flustered. That's that's why I'm glad you're still here. You are? Well, yeah. I need a wing witch, obviously. Jeez. Right, right. A wing witch. And what exactly does a wing witch do? Helps me pick up hot people. Don't you have a festival to build? Yeah, but Mel said maybe I need a break after the other day. Mel advised taking a break? Yeah, why? It's nothing, but it's probably a good idea. Wait, I thought maybe you could use some more of those magic words again. Even for the only kind of worked last time. But it's not like I have a lot of witches to choose from, so... Um... Maybe we should try that new cause. No, please don't. What was that? You say something. What do I have to do? Get out of my knees and back? Ah. Right, of course. Oh, great witch, wing witch, animal. Please say some magic words so that I may attract hard people. Great wing witch, animal has a nice wing to it. I guess you could spare some magic words for Jonas again. This is really worth your effort. A oh, great one. Very well, how about this? Um, hopefully this isn't too tough. I begged for that. Mm. Alright, I'm sorry, a oh, great one. Nothing is too tough for this guy. Time to jump. There was Tyson, you love jump to his belt. Alright, well, good luck. Uh, and you coming with me? Coming with you to where? I don't know. I was thinking about the park or something. The park? To pick up odd people? Sure, it's a nice day. Plenty of people will be walking around there. No. What are you my wing witch? I worked my magic. Pretty sure there's not much more I can do for you. Besides, I have more work to do. But what if you took a nap on the tree instead? A, a tree, you see? Oh yes, a big shady tree. I suppose the rest of my work can wait, but I'm napping, not helping. Of course, of course, come on, let's go. And Jonas head to the park and find a bench. This Jonas was right about one thing. It is a nice day outside. That looks like a nice tree, or maybe that one. Where are all the hot people? <sighs> Did you actually think you'd pick up someone here? I thought it was worth a shot. Wait, I have no idea. What? Jonas takes off the jam and throws it. What the heck? 
It's not my jumps fault you can meet hot people. And that's littering. Ah, maybe someone else will pick it up who needs it. Such a nice day. We got rather sit here without the can in world. Now you're speaking my language. You hear that? I never get tired of the outdoors. Not to mention, I tan well. Thomas, I think there's something in the... Well, on the other hand, she just burns. I remember this one time she... Big dog jumps out from the bush and fetches Jonas's charm. Ruff, ruff. Wolf. Doggy. What the heck is wrong with it? Ah, uh, you just need some flushing in the bath, is all. Ruff, ruff. I wonder if he has a helm. I don't see a color. This floor of an animal shelter. Yeesh, sorry. Now, of course you don't want to go there. Of course not, buddy. Don't listen to the nasty witch. What are you going to do then? Take him home? Eh? Uh, yeah. That was fast. When I commit, I commit. How about we get home and clean you up? That sounds good, boy. Woof, woof. Let's get going then. Just drink. Maybe he and Ramsey can be friends. Bird and the dog is friends. I'm sure that will go well. What a great day. Let's get going. Jonas walks off with the dog beside him. Maybe the charm worked after all? Sounds like I'm deserving of that nap. Alright, and with that we finish the day. We're gonna go home. There's gonna be a full moon. Maybe. We have to finish the day first. I'm not sure. We probably have to finish the day first. Oh, that's gone. Tonight's the night, Ramsey. It's finally the moon of moon. Caca! All our work is going to pay off. Then we're out of here. Caca! Here, let me write some in invitations real quick. Try up some paper in the pan. Dear President of Flora, meet me tonight at Festival Grounds. Sincerely, your village witch, Sunny Wolf von Teasel. I should do that, Rick. Ramsey. I need you to deliver all these to everyone today. Make sure they get them. Oh. Come on. I can't wait. We'll be on to bigger and better things. Once this ritual is complete, everyone and everything festival related will be sorted. Everyone, especially my clan, will finally acknowledge my greatness. I'm going to finish up around here. I'll meet you in the village later tonight under the full moon. Come, come. And that's where we're gonna call this video an end. And I'll see you all guys in the next video. Until then, have a great one. I hope you enjoyed this one. We are halfway through the game. And yeah, let's see how the rest of the game is gonna go. Until then, everybody, have a great one.